from a missile cutting off electricity to parts of the Ukrainian capital. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky signed orders Friday to award the Golden Star, the country's highest honor, to Valery Salushny, the former military chief of the armed forces of Ukraine. The ceremony came a day after Zelensky replaced Salushny in a shakeup aimed at reversing momentum in Ukraine's stalled defensive war with Russia. In Washington, President Joe Biden met Friday with visiting German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, with support for Ukraine high on the agenda. The United States and Germany are the top two donors of military aid to Ukraine. U.S. aid has been stalled for weeks in Congress, with many Republican lawmakers opposing it. Biden had this to say about it. The failure of the United States Congress, if it occurs, not to support Ukraine is close to criminal neglect. It is outrageous. At the State Department Thursday, VOA asked if the U.S. could somehow continue to provide aid to Ukraine with the supplemental budget stalled in Congress. Deputy spokesperson Vedant Patel said this. There is no uh, magic uh, second pot of money. There is no other alternative here uh, when it comes to this, and that's why uh, you have seen um, uh, this administration um, uh, come out strongly uh, for the uh, text of the supplemental uh, funding bill that uh, was made public over this past weekend. One expert told VOA that Schultz and Biden might get creative when it comes to helping Ukraine. There will be you know, perhaps ways in which Germany and the United States can creatively think through this question, that if Germany has the money uh, and the United States has the munitions and uh, the materiel, uh, that there might be ways of, uh, of assisting and aiding Ukraine even without um, Congress approving uh, the money. There might be other channels and other uh, mechanisms. At the White House, the German Chancellor commented on former Fox News 